POWERFUL BLAZE RIPS THROUGH A FLOYD COUNTY HOME. IT HAPPENED IN A SUBDIVISION OFF CAMERA MILLER ROAD JUST OUTSIDE NEW ALBANY. WLKY'S ERICA COGHILL TALKED TO THE HOMEOWNER ABOUT THE DEVASTATION. THE HUSBAND AND WIFE WHO LIVED HERE HAD JUST FINISHED RENOVATING THEIR HOME A COUPLE MONTHS AGO. FRESH CARPET, A NEW KITCHEN, AND NOW THIS IS ALL THAT'S LEFT. YOU WORK SO HARD AND YOUR PLAN AND YOUR PLAN TO MAKE YOUR HOUSE A BEAUTIFUL HOME. AND IT GOES UP IN FLAMES. The barely there skeleton of the home is difficult for Carola Densford to accept. Every time I look at it, when it came out, when when we came out and I turned around and I saw it, and it's just like somebody's taking a knife in my stomach and just going like this. It's not just the work that went into the home; it's what the home held that will never be replaced. That's most upsetting. The photo albums, all the little things, the keepsakes from my children when they were little, things I don't throw away because they're so dear to me. It's all gone. It's all gone. Densford and her husband are thankful to be alive after narrowly escaping the blaze. The smoke alarm woke them up just before 6 Friday morning. And when I opened the door of the bedroom, I saw the hallway filled with smoke. She grabbed a fire extinguisher and tried to save her home, but the flames were too powerful and grew too quickly. And I didn't even realize that I was standing there and it was already burning around me. I kept holding my hand there, like burned my hand just a little bit. Her husband also had a close call. While reaching in to grab car keys, flames shot at him. He's just really black in the face and his hair was scorched. The homeowners do have insurance and a place to stay until they can get back on their feet. Erica Coghill, WLKY News. The couple believes the fire started in the second floor laundry room. Fire officials are still trying to figure out why. We're learning.